Okay, welcome to uh, Codio Challenge 3.3 Short String List. In this challenge, we are to create our own array of strings. Call the array anything you like, as long as, as it is a valid variable name. The list should include three elements, AAA, BBB, CCC. Okay, so um, this is a pretty uh, simple uh, Codio challenge. And um, to solve this challenge, all we're going to do is create our array and then print it. So let's do that. So to do this, we're just going to say my array. That's going to be our variable name. And then we're going to create our array with the three elements a a a b b b c c c so to do that we're going to use the list and then the uh, quotes and then a a a and comma b b b comma c c c and that is our variable that's our array and that's our elements a b and c so to get the output they want a b and c all we're going to do is say print my array so we're going to say print my array move over here and we will check it and you can see a b and c and that's how you create the array this is the array and we just print the array we created with the three elements they asked for now um i just want to uh i was questioned about another way of solving this problem and i'm just going to show you um that real quick and a lot of people have seen this answer on google where it's showing like alphabets here and uh, if I could spell right here, alphabets equals A, B, C. And then basically it's, people are creating a for loop. They're just assigning uh, say N, equals three and then they're doing a for loop so they're saying for i in range in new this dot i'm sorry let me create the new list up here New list equals okay, and then they're just using the new list dot fn. So fn, and then just saying alphabets going through the index. And then multiplying each letter by three so times three and then just saying print new list and if you check this oh, let's see what i did wrong here okay so uh, when you check this, it comes out showing the same output A, B, and C. And although you're getting the correct output here, you didn't create your own array of strings with the three elements containing A, B, A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C. So although you're 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 getting the right uh, output doing it this way. 
technically it's not following the instructions here where you're creating your own array with the elements containing A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C. So um, you may see people getting this as the answer, but as I was stating before, the way to do this is just put your, create your array and then print your array. I mean, that's all they're asking for. Create your array with these three elements and print it. And so, although the other way works, it's not really what they're asking for. All right, if you have any other uh, questions, comments, um, feel free to send me emails. As always, please subscribe to these videos, this channel, and uh, I appreciate everyone that's uh, subscribed, and I appreciate everybody uh, commenting and sending emails. And as I've said before, if you would like to study, uh, join the study group, just send me an email. I'll add you to a list, uh, to the study group list, and you'll be able to uh, interact with other uh, students taking IT 140 now. So again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.